Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, Christo y salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chest and the action mash. As you would have seen from the thumbnail and the introduction footage, I have a very ominous looking bag. Let's open the bag. It's quite a nice traveling uh, bag, actually. It's a storage strand solutions bag. <clears throat> I bought this from eBay complete. So in one pouch, we have a Bush personal cassette player. And in the other side, we have matching speakers. Now I used to have speakers just like this with a headset that I had. I can't remember. They weren't matching. I'd bought them uh, separate from Argos, but very, very similar to this. So this is what we have. So let's take a closer look. Let's take a look at the speakers first. They appear to be stereo. There are absolutely zero markings oops, um, on the speakers. So I have absolutely no idea what type of, uh, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay, so there's no markings on these speakers, so I can't tell if they are truly stereo or whether they're just like mono split over two speakers. Let's take a closer look now at the Walkman itself. This is the Bush PS404, personal stereo, uh, blah, 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 equivalent or a three volt AC-DC adapter. Battery supply, which is two double A's. There is a jeans trouser clip on there. On the top, we have no buttons. I thought that was a button then. Uh, PS404 bass boost system playback. On one side, we have the little um, socket there for the adapter, headphones, and then the bass on or off. On the front, we have the volume control. We have a stop, we have a fast forward, and we have a play. If we open up the inside, we can see the, maybe just the head there, if you can catch the details on it. I don't know if you can, because it's very awkward and I can't open it. Oh, is there a battery in there? <gasps> there is. <laughs> oh, uh oh, I left batteries in there. How bad is that? They've been in there for ages. Oh, well, let's test these batteries, actually. I remember I bought these a couple of years ago good and I remember when I got them I would test them and then take the batteries out but I obviously left the batteries in on this naughty door one battery two batteries little piece of cloth there to help you pull them out easy let's put a cassette in Let's see. Gosh, you can barely see the cassette on the inside, if at all. Let's press play. Hang on, that's not seated right. Okay, I can hear it's working. Let's plug in the speakers. We've got the bass on. No, that's definitely not stereo. It doesn't feel like stereo. But still, back in the day, Bush. Let's fast forward. <coughs> I 
That's with the volume at max. Let's fast forward a bit more. Base off. That doesn't even sound like it's got bass on it. It just sounds like two little tinny, tinny bits. Let's try something a bit better, she said. Let's plug in socket. Let's plug in that. Turn it on, it's on auxiliary. Let's press play. Oh, well, that's better. Bit of wow and flutter going on there. Bit of hiss. Okay, now you can hear a difference with the bass on. That does sound better. I can just about make out the tape turning. Try my Sony headphones and let's see if that makes any difference in the sound. It's not too bad to be honest. I've heard worse and I've definitely heard better, but that's not too bad if you're using a nicer pair of speakers or headphones. But those things are dreadful. There's nothing else in the bag. No. This came all together, the bag of the lot just came in one bulk, somebody was selling it off. Quite a lot of hiss on it, so there's no noise reduction or anything, which is a shame. I did notice that there is a bit of sound with the speaker, with the socket. So I've got some contact cleaner here. I'm going to spray a tiny bit of contact cleaner in it. There we go. Put that socket in on it. Let's get some of my wipes. Let's give it a clean. take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to clean the tape head and the pinch roller so I'm going to do the tape head first okay that definitely looks better let's put the tape I'm going to fast forward it to rewind it. Yeah, it's spinning really well, so I think the um, the belt on it is fine. Okay, so it's got auto stop, so that's pretty cool. Let's try it again.
that sounds terrible, but it's a budget machine and it is in such good condition for its age. Let me see if I can find anything out about it um, online. Hang on. No, unfortunately, no, I've had a look online and I can't find, you can, you can, you can get them for sale on eBay and stuff, but um, I've not seen them. These are definitely the matching speakers because the plastic is identical to it in color. So this either, these either came separate or as a set, I don't know. But I guess for like being on the beach or whatever, it's not, you know, it, it's not that, that bad for back in the day. I assume this one is from the 90s again. But again, I can't find any details on there. There is a number there which says 096. So 1996, I have no idea. But uh, definitely not the best quality. Um, unfortunately, uh, I was a little bit of a snob back then, even though I did have a Ferguson one. <laughs> but I would not go near anything that had the name Bush on it. <laughs> Oh, forgive me, back in the day. So there we go. That is just the first little look of these horrible sounding speakers, but not bad sounding, basic. It's got a lovely texture to it. I have to say the the plastic or the paint that was sprayed on it, it's, it's, it's got a really nice texture feel to it. And it is in such good condition. It is in really, really good condition. I'm really impressed. It's old and it's well looked after and that's because of this case so this case has definitely saved it from being bashed around so i'm gonna put these back into their little case and zip it up and put this on ebay i'm not gonna use it so somebody else will probably love it and use it so keep an eye out at some point this will be on ebay in its little travel case as well so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys soon bye y'all